welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try and get th this done as quickly as possible. Got to go to work, but I am pissed. I am real pissed, and I really should, like, go on a rant about this, but I know it's just not right for me. It's not right for timing. Um, it's just not the right thing to do. But every time I go to Krispy Kreme, I get more and more frustrated. And this is kind of weird because it's going to be my first review that I'm going to upload uh, after doing a radio interview, second radio interview. Um, so it may not look good for me, but you got to call people out sometimes. You got to be honest with these brands. A lot of these creators, these content creators, they're not honest. They tell you good things about everyone. And sure, it's great to bring positivity to every single brand. That's great. Cool. Awesome. But we got to paint the truth, people. If there's a mistake, if there's a problem, if, if there's some issue with the supplies or the service you, you got to be honest and that that, that that that's something i try and portray to y'all i try and be honest so um i do ask that you subscribe like and comment on this video we're gonna try and jump into this review but i'm also gonna be honest i mean you're gonna see the two donuts that were really going crazy to review that everybody's going crazy to review and it's just pitiful it's just pitiful. So the first Krispy Kreme I go to that's nearest to me tell me they don't have any donuts ready other than a few. So I'm like, no, thank you. You know, I ask them when they'll be ready. Afternoon. This is the second straight time that I've gone for specialty donuts. They didn't have their stuff together. So, I mean, honestly, if it happens one time, that's that, that makes sense. Two times in a row, I, now you lose my trust. Now I'm like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. So I go to the Greenbrier location here in Chesapeake. So that was Portsmouth. This is Greenbrier, Chesapeake. Um, everything's going fine. I'm trying to order donuts. I'm like, okay, I'll order a specialty dozen. This is a Krispy Kreme corporate thing. And, you know, sometimes, you know, they'll give you loopholes and everything. But they're like, no, you can't order this donut that looks pitiful. It, if you're going to say, I can't order this donut in a special donut, I got to order it in a three pack that costs seven dollars or a six pack that costs you know thirteen dollars. At least make this thing look nice. I mean, it is small and it's supposed to be filled with MMs. We're gonna dive into the middle of that and figure it out. That's just cream, that's just cream. So I'm worried, I'm nervous, I'm concerned. Um, you know, I'm paying this money, I want a good product, right? That makes sense, right? Um of course, the price has been going up at Krispy Kreme. Corporate, I, I'm completely at war with. I've been at war with corporate for a while. But my suggestion, folks, is don't buy into this hype. Watch us creators. Have fun with that. Support local. I'm sure you can go to the local mom and pop donut shop and make a request, maybe the day before, say, hey, can, can you make me some shell donuts, some empty shell donuts? You go get some, you, you know, the little tubs of mini M&Ms, buy some tubs of it, mini M&Ms and shove those into a shell donut. And you can have just as much fun with fresher donuts at probably the same or less of a price. I don't know. I'm frustrated. I really am. So we're going to pose for our thumbnail. All kinds of faces. Don't know what to do. But, of course, we're going to start with the one that claims to be filled. Um, so, yeah, I, I tried going by the recommendations that uh, one of my subscribers said. You know, just order, start ordering like a regular sort of dozen and then play foolish, foolish. You know, play the game of foolishness. And then, nope, that didn't work out. So, here we are again, paying way too much at Krispy Kreme. Um, and y'all might be wondering. Why do I still review this place? That's because, well, how many views is this going to get? A lot. Do I still love Krispy Kreme? Yeah. Okay, well, this is not terrible. It's not falling out like I was expecting. I guess the cream is to kind of hold this thing together. And the M&Ms are kind of soft. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat this part. And just like some other reviews have said, it's not bad. It tastes good. Um, definitely a minimum forward. I'd give it a seven and a half personally. 
But it needs more M&Ms. Mm. All right, moving on to chocolate iced with M&M. &M. Go ahead and break into this thing. Lots of pretty sprinkles. I will give them that. Hmm. Mm. I like the, the filled one more. That was okay. I give it a seven. It's hard, like, you know, when it's a sweet treat, it's hard to give it anything less than you know, a seven, because it's good. It's gotta be terrible, you know. This is not filled very well, but peanut butter m and mm. Again, not bad, but I think it would do better if they filled this one with M&M's too. So, I'm going to go ahead and give that... I don't like it as much as the chocolate ice. I'm going to give it like a six and a half. Um, you know, it's just like the peanut butter wasn't even too strong either. So, six and a half. But yeah, overall, I'm just frustrated, disappointed. Um... I expect a lot more from this brand and uh you know they've been falling short they've been rapidly falling short for a long time now so anyways hopefully this review was insightful enough for you um nothing that i would say i would advise you to go waste your money on go buy some m&ms go go make some donuts at home have a good time don't get frustrated like me Anyways, that's my review. I'm sticking to it, and I will see y'all around.